This is Dr. Michael Myers, and I'm course lead faculty for BST 322, Introduction to Biomedical Statistics at National University in San Diego. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to do a chi-square test on some sample data. So if we go to this example, where last time we left off, we looked at these happiness values of married, single, and divorced men. What we discovered was, when we did an ANOVA on these data, so this is the um, quantitative data up here, the happiness scores, we found that they weren't significant for happiness. But now we want to do is let's look at some non-parametric data. Let's look at the use of Prozac in these groups of men. So now we're going to look at Prozac use and marital status. So these are of course qualitative variables, nominal level variables. And to do that we're going to use a non-parametric test. So up until now we've been doing all parametric tests, the t-test, the two-sample t-test, and the ANOVA. Now we're going to use a non-parametric test called the chi-square test. So the question here is, is the chi-square value statistically significant given this data? Well, again, we could type this in. So we've got the same number of men. We've got 10 in each group of married, single, and divorced. And we have, in each group, two of the married men and two of the single men, and seven of the divorced men were on Prozac. They, they would be listed as yes. So rather than watch me typing that data in, I already did that in a spreadsheet. So I'll go ahead and load that in. So again, I can just go back to my uh, stat crunch and click on data, load data from file and we'll call that data up and then we'll begin to analyze it. Okay, so what we see here is we've got the same data we had for the ANOVA test. So we have our 30 subjects here. Again, they're uh, each line is a subject, but now we've added the Prozac data. So some of the men were on Prozac, two out of the uh, ten for the married group were on Prozac, again two out of ten for the single were on Prozac, and then seven were yeses for the Prozac used for the divorced men. So the question is how do we do now a chi-square analysis on this data? Well that can be very easily done in StatCrunch. So remember back to week one when we were doing uh, contingency tables, we're going to do the same thing now. Remember when we did that first contingency table, we didn't click on expected count, we didn't do the hypothesis test because we hadn't gotten there yet. But now we can do that very easily for this week. So again we can click on Stat, Tables, and we'll go back to Contingency with data because we have all the data here. And now we bring that dialog box up. And again, our row variable is going to be our dependent variable, the one we're interested in. So this is probably going to be the Prozac use. We're not really interested in an outcome of marriage, right? So we're going to leave that one. That's going to be our column or our independent variable is the marital status. Remember the score we're not going to include in this one because we're only doing a non-parametric test. We're just looking at Prozac use and marital status. So from there we just click on Next. And again, we can click on these row percent, column percent, percents of total to give us our contingency table. And to do the test, we need to print out the expected count. And now for the independent test, we can do the chi-square. Now we don't want to click Fisher's exact test here because this is only for two by two tables. Remember when the expected counts fall below about five. So we don't need the Fisher's test here for that one. We'll just do chi-square. All we do is press calculate. And now as we saw before, the software is going to print out a nice contingency table or cross-tabulation table for us. So we can go to options and we can copy all this data, paste it into Word, and we can modify that uh, cross-tabulation table to label all of our rows and columns. But you can see it printed out all the values for us. And here's the chi-square result. So again, we have the two degrees of freedom because we have uh, it's the column minus one times the rows minus one, so two times one is two. Our chi-square value, and this is another distribution we're looking at, the number is 7.177, and here's our p-value. Again, this is the probability of seeing a value of this test statistic equal to a higher than that value, so it's 0 0.0276 which is lower than 0 0.05. So for in terms of Prozac use and marital status, the type of marriage you're in or your marriage status is significantly uh, correlated with your uh, Prozac use. 
So for this one, we have a significant result. So again, this is an easy way to get StatCrunch to do the chi-square test for you, print out the cross-tabulation table, give you the p-value and the test statistic value.